Today we're out here doing some frog fishing. I'm here with Cole. Uh, it's about seven or seven forty-five, eight o'clock. Uh, but it's about 65, 70 degrees. Good frog conditions. Yesterday we had all clouds. That uh, would have been a good day to frog fish, but real windy. So uh, I'm just here to talk about the basics of frog fishing. So first, uh, we'll go over the rod and the reel and the line. So I have a loose tournament pro speed spool. I always use seven one to one gear ratio reels. Uh, this is a very light reel that can hold a lot of line. As you see, I have braid. That's the next thing. Always use braided line if you're frog fishing. I know some people they'll use heavy monofilament or fluorocarbon, but uh, braid. That's what I always use. 50 pound suffix 832. I like that a lot. I know Power Pro is good braid for a lot of different companies, but I stick with the suffix 832. Never had any problems with it. Casts very well as long as as with the reel. Those two go together perfectly. Next is the rod. I have a Powell Endurance 725 Heavy. Uh, this is a seven foot two rod. I use it for frog fishing because it's got the perfect tip for walking the frog. It's not too sensitive and you can work it real well. But uh, great rod, love this. These two go together perfect. You could pull anything out of here with the 71 gear ratio reel and the heavy rod. So next is the frog. Uh, I have a Volve Baits Nervous Walker. Love this frog. I've never had really any problems with it. Other than uh, you get occasionally you'll get water in it, but that's with any frog. I know Cole's using the Spro Bronze Eye and Nasty Shad, but Evolved Baits, they have a lot of different patterns. It's pretty cool. Sometimes you could paint on the bottom of it or uh, use Sharpie on the bottom of the frogs, but I don't really like to use that. Uh, but next thing we'll get to, always fish frogs in lily pads or places where you think there's a fish hiding under something. And if, say, you miss a blow up, that's why you always carry a Senko or a Flippin to stick with you. Uh, I have a little weightless wacky rig just to carry with me in case I miss one. Then if you're fishing real heavy pads, that's when you bring out the little punching slash flipping bait. Bolt stop, uh, one ounce bullet weight, punching skirt, uh, BMC hook, and a uh, chigger craw. That's just what I like to use, crazy like chigger craw. Lots of action underwater. Now we'll get the fish going right after you miss a blow up because they're going to be active right after that. So, uh, lots of places to fish frogs. Like mainly you'll fish in cover, but occasionally people will fish it off at points in open water if there's not really too much cover. But there's sparse vegetation, rice paddies, lily pads, occasional stump fields, uh, weed beds underwater, everything. So uh, that's basically the basics of frog fishing and where to fish it. And uh, stay tuned for some fishing, guys. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, got a nice one. Uh, it's kind of small, but still a good fish on the frog. Yeah, it's a little guy, but uh, on the frog, wow, little fat guy. Really wanted it, real small fish. On the Evolve Baits Nervous Walker, super small, little dink, but still fun. Eh, nice fish. Small, small, small. Got this one on a Spro Bronze Eye Frog in Nasty Shad. It's a little fish, but still fun. See all the tadpoles? I saw the bait fish too. Let's call it a try. Hey guys, I got this nice one on a Spro Bronze Eye Frog and Nasty Shad. Uh, well, it seems like every time I start talking, it just hits. So, I mean, he choked that. That is choked. You were just walking that thing, weren't you? <laughs> Basically, yeah, just straight walking it. He's not even hooked. He's not real big, you know, a little bass. I get the return.
<laughs> and you can see him knocking all these pads. There she goes right away. You guys just stuck another one on the frog, choked it. Not a bad fish. She absolutely demolished that frog. Nice fish, probably about a pound. Get a quick release. There she goes. All right, guys, Cole's got one. Oh, this is a nice one. Not a bad fish. Nice blow up. Man. Right there on the top of the mouth. Not a bad fish. Not at all. It's a fun one there on the frogs. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Alright. Not bad. Decent fish. Scared of frogging. Uh, hey guys. Ooh, post spawner. I caught this one. And there's a post spawner. I was walking my frog really fast, kind of just not paying attention. Kind of when you get the most of your frog hits. So you're at least paying attention. Uh, I got one earlier on a pause. And the best best way is just walk it real fast, in my opinion. So uh, here's a release. 